Dear all, today I'm gonna do a tear down and clean for the Logitech M557 Bluetooth mouse. It got sent uh, through the mail. Wow, it's nicely packed. So yeah, even it's dropped, I think it's okay. Bubble wrap, save the day. I'm quite surprised that yeah, overall the mouse looks pretty clean and like got it for a steal for a bluetooth mouse I think maybe a, if I'm gonna remember only maybe 15 dollars do a spinny let's see how is it yeah there's a button here to release the uh, camera yeah it opens down so it's a bit different uh, two AA battery and yeah both are uh, slotted in the same position um, I was recommended to get this product move on to remove the uh, uh, sticky uh, gum on the on the underside of the skaters. Let's see how it goes. Okay, it feels a bit oily. Yeah, citrusy smell. Um, yeah, let's see how it works. I left for a while, but uh, from the instructions, uh, it's uh, to leave it soak for around 10 minutes for it to work. Yeah. So I did a general cleaning and uh, removing the screws now. There's two uh, screws, yeah, as usual, uh, below the skates. Yeah, trying it to open it and I realized that there's two more. Uh, just. Uh, for the end of the battery compartment. Yeah, it folds open like a boat. Yeah. Then there's a battery connector, quite small. And these things are usually very uh, sturdy and soldered on, so you just need to, uh, don't need to be extra careful. You see the buttons, there's this uh, light node that emits the blue light, the switch contact points. Yeah, overall quite clean. So I think later there's not much cleaning done. The button there is for the Windows button. The school wheel tells me that uh, yeah, it's seldom used as well, otherwise like those uh, gaming uh, mouse where you see green residue from sweat okay the switches are Omron the standard uh, standard ones you'll be able to find left and right click center click and the wheel just pops off from the click easily interesting board with the uh, bluetooth function and yeah it's not screwed on yeah so it should be quite easily removed usually bots even those uh, low-end mounts they will have some screws securing the board to the, the plastic water case so I just use a spudger to leverage it and release the clip it slides up easily Compact and a complex board over here. Everything nicely soldered, no flux residue, the on off buttons here. For the newer mouses, right, they don't have a blue or a red laser, so nowadays a lot of they call it uh, black light technology or invisible light, so same for this left right clicks these are easily replaceable if you have the soldering uh, iron the skill even the under case is yeah, quite clean this after I clean it more detail cleaning at the there. 
Not much that can find it. The school will take some time, but it should be an easy job. There's no click and unclick function for it to freely spin. Yeah, because this is a, a, a working uh, mouse, not a, a gaming mouse. Interesting, I find out that uh, for this, how it senses the screw is through this uh, light source and a sensor. So as you can see here, right, um, on the top, right, there's this uh, light emitting uh, LED that shines a light to across it, and there's a black sensor across it. So, yeah, I wonder how it tells if it's scrolling forward or backward. Any comments? Uh, do let me know. Now it's a uh, assembly. So to take note that the uh, on-off switch is so put to the off, then you place it in. Wiggle it through. Make sure the lines are uh, the, the holes are aligned on the board, and gently push, push it through. You take a while because there are three uh, aligning holes: two on the top and one at the bottom right corner. Making sure it's secure, then we'll continue with our assembly. The screw will pop in, and making sure the left and right can be touched. Keep thinking that there are screws for the bottom, <laughs> yeah. So now, yes, a bit lost there. We're looking for the top case. The top case uh, engages on the top first, so it folds, uh, clips on at the back. So first of all, we'll connect the battery. Okay, takes a while to get engaged. We get it a bit. Make sure that the top clips in and snap it on. Overall, I think that this is quite an uh, easy mouse to open up, clean, uh, even to fix. The other mouses with double uh, circuit board, uh, difficult clips to, to remove. Okay, uh, if I were to say, if you are more hands-on DIY guy, uh, if you need to clean it, it will take you maybe around 15 minutes to talk when you know where to uh, remove the screws and and uh, pop it up here yeah. so if you like this uh, video do click on the like button putting the battery sticking back the skates and testing making sure is everything is okay yeah the screw will yeah seems uh, smoother lights on if you like my creations uh, do